All right, hey guys. Um, I'm about to play my uh, international tournament match against Barum, who is potentially the best player on the site. Um, I'm not really... I mean, obviously, I want to win. Uh, I'm expecting to lose because he's one of my worst matchups, and I lose against him very often, but this might be a great time for me to narrate kind of how I play and how the game works. I think it'll be fun. So let's take a look at this. Uh, Berserker is here. He gets first pick. I expect him to pick Berserker. But Pikeman is here as well, which counters Berserker pretty well. Um, redeploy, Sacrifice, and Reinforce. Redeploy is an excellent uh, decree with Earl. Mm, he takes Earl first. This is a interesting pick. Um, I guess Redeploy and Earl is great. Reinforce and Earl is uh, pretty good too. You get to reinforce a lot of your dead people. Um, I guess he understands that if I take if he takes Berserker, I take Pikeman, and then Berserker's kind of hurt, and I get to take Pikeman and Berserker now, so he can't counter. Which is this is a good take for me, but then he will get Bannerman, which sucks. But I can't. Well, can I take Berserker Bannerman and then use Bannerman to hold Pikeman off? Shoot, I really would love to have Bannerman on my team, but I don't think so. Now he's going to take Bannerman Crossbowman, probably. So I want to really talk through um, my lines of play, uh, what I'm, you know, what I'm thinking. I'm going to take Lancer. Usually I think Lancer is super bad, but I think Lancer is one of the few ways to counter. Well, I guess Berserker counters Bannerman, but Lancer is another way to counter Bannerman, and Footman is not very powerful. So one of the things in the opening, uh, you're, you know, you're always going to know what your chips are. So I know what these chips are, then I know what's, what's still to come. You want to make sure that you don't lock yourself out of playing on the second hand. For example, if I deploy Lancer here and Berserker here, and then I draw, like, Pikeman, Pikeman, Swordsman... I have to recruit three times and I can't play any of my units. That really sucks. So you often want to hedge against that kind of start. Um, the thing is, with Berserker on your team, it's actually not that bad because I wouldn't mind recruiting three times because I would just recruit three Berserkers anyway. So the gamble might be worth it in this case. But without Berserker, if you're not positive you're going to go all in on a unit, you really want to hedge against that kind of opening and not let that happen. I'm going first. Um, I don't want to. You don't want to expose where you're going if you can avoid it. I know I'm going to be recruiting with this, so I'm going to go ahead and recruit a lancer. I'm going to get the berserkers anyway, but I'm going to get a lancer now to kind of prepare myself. Now I want to avoid um, crossbowmen with berserker if I can. This doesn't really matter too much. A good spot for a. Lancer to be is right here because then the Lancer covers this and he covers that That's a great Lancer spot. Although then he kind of blocks you from taking this point because then you you know your Lancer gets blocked um, Lancer here is not as good Because then he uh, then he covers this and that but you don't really need to cover this one. That's yours So I'm gonna deploy um, Lancer over here Move him up here I don't really care where I put Berserker, because the goal of Berserker is going to be just to linger around this area and just get, get bigger. So I'm going to put him here. But So there it is. Here's the, the key thing I told you about. You don't want to block yourself out, just like I did. But because I have Berserker, I really don't mind recruiting Berserker three times. This is going to slow me down, and it, it definitely sucks a lot, and I call this Cancer Hand. But uh, playing it passively is an option. But if you play it passively and... It slows you down as well. If had I won this, won the gamble here, and was able to like, get a lancer and draw and, and move my chips out, I would have been in a much stronger position. So it's kind of like a gambit in chess, I suppose. Um, it, it actually isn't as bad with Berserker, so I don't hate it that much because this had to happen eventually, and it's fine that it happened now. So I'm going to move Berserker uh, 
here because the Bannerman's probably coming in this side. I want Berserker to match up against Bannerman. That's my that's better for me. I'm gonna deploy him here just because he's gonna come and hold this. I hope. So the Berserker is gonna kind of work his way up there. Now I'm gonna start unleashing my units. So Berserker, I'm just gonna bolster. That's gonna be his kind of main thing. Um, I am going to recruit another... I'm going to bolster my pikemen, and I'm going to recruit another pikemen with this, because against crossmen, obviously, you're going to want to bolster so you can take a hit. Just going to get that recruit going. Swordsmen, I'm going to send up over here, I think. The swordsman's a good late-game unit. Um, he's not a very good early-game unit, because he doesn't stand up too well to like multiple attackers but later on going one-on-one -on -one, he's really a great so right now um he's kind of scared of my lancer he knows that if he goes here or here my lancer could potentially kill him so he's sort of worried about that which is great that's a good thing about lancer even though i think he's like he that bolster happened because he can't take that point so lancer's good for that i think lancer's generally a pretty bad unit but in this case he's good at controlling space and making the opponent make you know possibly slow slow moves now i got all my lancers he has recruited all of his bannermen my berserker can go and kill that bannerman right now I love that. He's going to kill him. And granted, now he's, you know, kind of hurt here. But now my Lancer's got a straight shot here. I can really clean up. So I expected that. And I expect him to actually have the, the next one, too. But I am going to do this. And then take that point with my Lancer. And that's kind of the most work the Lancer can... That's the most Lancer can hope for. I love that. Um, I do have initiative. If he doesn't have the shot here... I could take initiative. I'm curious how this is going to go. Because I really don't want to lose my Berserker. Especially standing on a point. Controlling that point would be really good for me. He's got one crossbow left. I wonder what he's thinking about. I suppose if he shoots my Berserker, I can always just re-Berserker here and take that point soon enough. So, taking initiative. You really don't want to take initiative unless it's, like, going to be super good. And in this case, I could take initiative and just miss Berserker anyway, and then that's a complete fail. And this guy right now gets to take that point, so he's doing really good work. So I think, um... Initiative is probably not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a refresh just in case, because the server gets weird sometimes and lags. Okay. I'm I like my position right now. Um, his Earl is sort of un, uncontested over there, but this side of the board I have, uh, you know, if this guy can... Even if he dies, I think I'm still pretty good because it's easy for a Berserker to just come back here. The Swordsman probably is going to get this, essentially, un, unperturbed. I'm locked to get this. I mean, this is going to be a little annoying for him. But um, I, I'm looking pretty good here. I like it. Like this spot. He's really uh in the tank here. I'm asking not to be rude, but because possibly he needs to refresh uh, because server stuff for him. So me prompting him that it's his turn might trigger a refresh on his end. Uh, of course, if he's thinking, then that's completely acceptable. I mean, this tournament I'm actually doing pretty bad. I'm uh, it's like a round, it's a Swiss tournament, so everybody's playing everybody. I am two and two right now. 
and um, I, I, I really am mad about my record. One of the games I got tremendously unlucky in, and it was very frustrating in the other game. I mean, you can always complain about being unlucky in this game, so I guess that's kind of cheap, but I, I would I would say that the that, that I should have won both the games I lost, and I got really bad draws on keep moments. He did have a shot. I wonder why he thought so long about that. Then uh, that takes away my whole initiative conversation altogether. I'll just take it. He's reinforcing. Uh, he got his bannerman back. Sure. So I'm going to deploy. I'm going to start stacking my bishop here. My bishop's job... I mean, my berserker's job now is going to be to take this. Um, obviously, he's going to do that. Um, yeah. I'm going to step up. There was a sacrifice decree. So uh, even though that, like, is not going to be seen for a long time, sacrifice will... So that, that sacrifice here. He's going to bolster before he moves in, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna do get there. I think I'm gonna bolster here and then recruit my last pikeman because that's gonna be pretty critical in this area of the board. Okay. That Bannerman's going to be able to just push this guy off and take that point, but there's not too much I can do about it. So, I'm going to just let that happen. The good news is, is he's... If he pushes... I mean, Lancer could just kind of fall back and take this, maybe, and then the Berserker can rush up. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Not much at all. This is interesting because Lancer right now, I mean, he could, might have Bannerman here, but Lancer can move down here. Well, I gotta move my Lancer anyway, because he can just get killed by this guy. The question is, I move him here, because then he defends this point. Because I don't want the Bannerman to go there, obviously. This is a pretty safe spot, and it protects this area here. Although he doesn't immediately threaten anybody. It seems like a good move. The other thing I was thinking is the Lancer just goes down here, and then if he doesn't screw with them, he can control this point. And then I can redeploy my Berserker over here and then run into here. It's kind of interesting. But I think that if I move down here... Hmm. I really should go here. To put some pressure on this point and that point. This is a great spot for him. Yeah, redeploy Berserker is a really interesting um, position. That's... Oh, he's got Sacrifice. He's got Sacrifice, I guess. What do I care? Let's go here. Oh, see, he does come to screw with him. Hmm, interesting. He can come in and kill him now. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Because now I take this spot. Thank you. 
Yeah, and this is a problem with this crosswoman against my poor guy over there. I'm gonna reinforce, I think. I don't really have anything else to do. I could redeploy my 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 uh, pikemen, but to where and why? I think the reinforce is better. Because even if he takes this, I'm one spot away from winning, and I can easily win here. Let's get this going. I'm going to put Pikeman here to protect, because he's going to take it and redeploy eventually. I'll put Pikeman down here. And it's really going to be about Berserker running over th oh, one of these two spots. This is a very, uh, it's a pretty tight game right now. He can't put his crosswoman to hit my Berserker very easily right now. That's nice for me. Maybe if he goes here, I can Lancer him. So, Pikeman is going to hit. I think probably Lancer, I'm going to bolster. Doesn't, any move doesn't make any sense. Although I could recruit a Berserker with him. Hmm. This is a very interesting game. Definitely anybody's game right now. I'm really happy that you guys are here to... Observe this with me. He recruits the crossbowman. Okay, we'll definitely make the kill here. Okay. He can shoot my... Wait, I can do this now. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I do this? Because he could sacrifice his footman or shoot my Lancer? I don't care. Lancer can't stand up to that anyway. I love that move, actually. It's absolutely fine. Now if he hits, he loses one, and he can't get on the point, which is pretty good. Redeploy here in case he has triple crossbow draw, which would be incredibly unlucky. He attacked my berserker. That's fine. Took initiative. Fine. Now, if he summons one here, I can kill him with Lancer.
This is an interesting position to be in. What if I move up here? How do I win? down here. What is he have still in his bag, I guess is a real question. That's his only bannerman. He has no more... He has like nothing in his bag. He's got coin, earl. This is, a co this is an earl. He can't even hit. He can have a coin. He could sacrifice. But he didn't sacrifice already. I wonder why. Yeah, I should move up here. Man, this is tough. This is like where the games are really made right now. He has an Earl in his hand. So he can summon an Earl here. And then he can potentially sacrifice... I mean, I think what I should be doing is just getting a swordsman. Because I would really like to take initiative here, draw a swordsmanship, and take it. That's what I need. My, I'm going to have... Sacrifice. Kill my, 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 my Lancer. I don't care. I'm going to... Get another swordsman. Because it's going to be all about my swordsman now. I got two swordsman ships now. Okay. Now I win. I did it. That was a tough last moment, but this worked. I got there. I got there with my swordsman. Whew. That was tough. They didn't even take initiative or anything. There's a really interesting uh, end game, actually. Huh. Great. Well, that was a fun game. I'm glad I won. I was one of the best players. One of my greatest nemeses. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, watching that game was helpful from every move, every perspective. It was fun to play.